Just waiting for it to say online. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome home, Bobby. We are here <laughs> now with Undertale. We're going to continue our playthrough, which hopefully I remember what was going on. <laughs> we shall see. I hope so, too. Otherwise, it's going to be really awkward. <laughs> Let's open the game up. Like, just sounds there? Undertale comes up to you, and you're like, who are you? You look like a mess. I've never seen you before. <laughs> Who's this skeleton bozo? Skozo, as they're known. <laughs> Alright. It remembered my volume settings for Undertale. That's good. You should draw. Oh, that's nice. Undertale. It's so dramatic when the title comes up. Doom, 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 doom. Continue. What were the settings? I think I looked at them last time, too. Bring time back to school. Oh yeah, the settings menu, it's music, and how it looks is based on the time of year for some reason. <laughs> Interesting. Your face is interesting. Let's change the scaling. Oops. Scale filtering point. There we go. Now we got nice crisp pixels. Mm, I love crisp skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're in the trash. Remember that. There are quite a few brands We're organized. I'm not sure how much. I don't think I can do weird voices this time though because my throat. But rest your hand on the rusted bike. This horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> a beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Then are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Sure. Get the astronaut food. Yeah, just pick it out of the garbage, no problem. DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks yeah. cover the edges. Uh... <laughs> so confused. Did they, like, buy it at, like, Black... Did, did they, like, buy it during, like, Black Friday or something and had to wrestle it away from somebody else? No, just sometimes you're desperate for your anime <laughs> fix, so it's hard to get the g disc out of the case. Do you want to beat it up? No. There are two chairs eyes for a moment. <gasps> Should have beat it up. Gonna get me now. <laughs> I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. Hold on, I gotta go get a drink real quick. Okay. That's a weird thing for the dummy to say. I've never heard them say that before. Oh. Alright, be right back a second. Good luck on your quest. I guess I'll entertain everybody where you're gone. So, uh, hello everybody. Uh, I exist. I I I woke up like literally like half an hour ago. I went for what I thought was a nap because I just the the, the weight of all existence fell on me at once. So I went for a nap. Well, I went to lay down, but it became a nap. And then I woke up, and Elena was like. When are we gonna stream? When are we gonna stream? When are we gonna stream in my inbox? Like a million times. So I sit my ass down, and Elena puts right. on the stream, and she's playing Sonic after the sequel, and like she just keeps standing in the path of the egg walnuts, like blasts. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing, honey, nothing. Continue as you were. Oh, okay. Live inside a dummy. Then you slip inside a dummy too until you destroyed their home. <laughs> Just, wait, I, what? Go spend our whole lives working for a proper vessel. Slowly, slowly we grow closer to our new bodies until one day we too may become corporeal beings. He's able to laugh, love, and dance like any other. But you, my cousin's future, you took it all away. Despicable, despicable, despicable! Human! I hope you're not too attached to your body, because your soul's about to get evicted. <laughs> oh. Mad dummy blocks the way. 
Otherwise known as Mummy. We talked to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Whoa! Oh, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you forget I said anything about magic. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... Honey. Yes. Is there a ghost? Honey, Physical really? attacks will fail. Huh? Oops. Wait, what did I say? Honey. Smells like a clothing store. I feel like, there's the fact that you didn't know what they were insinuating there. You kinda just got me. Ooh. Okay. Only magic can hurt the dummy. I don't have any magic, do I? Well, you don't, but who did- but he said, watch where you're aiming your magic attacks to his little minions in the hurt box. Oh, oh I see. I didn't even I notice that they were attacking him. <laughs> An airless ska dance. I say he, I don't know the gender of the dummy. <laughs> Just dummy. Is this yeah, dummy thick? Dummy. No! <laughs> no! That's it! You're banned from Undertale! <laughs> Oops, I skipped some dialogue that maybe I shouldn't have. That's just how it be sometimes in the RPG video games. <laughs> oh my god, Yumi Sparkles! Bossing around here. its bullets. Hello, Hello, Yumi Sparkles. It's a lovely <laughs> emote you got there. <laughs> That's a friend That's of mine. It's a lovely username. No I don't like how the Mad Dummy's face looks like Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. No! Peppa Pig is not allowed on my stream. It's allowed on my stream. Don't it's you forget not. whose stream you're on. Yes, is mine. I've co-opted the stream. It's a mutiny. <laughs> it's a I'm banning Peppa Pig. Did you know that I think in- was it in China Peppa Pig is a symbol of rebellion? <laughs> Honey, you need to guide the magic attacks into the dummy, but he hides I on know. the sides now. I'm just getting... I was mean, just getting impatient this fight. You're so impatient tonight, calm down. <laughs> I'm cutting all over the dialogue box. <laughs> I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over. That's what video games are all about. Wait, well, you're a completionist, how can you be sick of that? I don't like it in RPGs. RPGs are so repetitive. In a way that bothers me. You sure made the decision oh. to play an RPG then, didn't you? <laughs> you made me play, <laughs> you got it, and was like, okay, stream it. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair and valid. <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I've got us in for this. Yes. If you make me play an RPG, you gotta listen to me complain about the things I don't like in RPGs. <laughs> it's weird though, because like, non-RPGs are repetitive as well. Like, imagine but in a way that like... doesn't feel repetitive to me. Because, like, guess... so see, so in RPGs like this, it's kind of mm -hmm. like when you're just, like, picking menu options, that's what's boring to me. And a thing okay. like a Zelda thing, I'm actually, like, I'm fully in control of that. And so I like that better. If I'm, like, if I'm actively the one doing a thing, I don't mind it so much. That's why my favorite RPGs are, like, Mario and Luigi. Because even though it's turns, you have total control over the attacks. That's kind of like this, though. Yeah, well... That's basically I don't know, the something, same thing. Something about just the little, like... The this, menu. Something about, like, in the little box, being like moving the thing around doesn't thrill me that much. I couldn't tell you why. 
That's pretty dummies, dummies, dummies. <laughs> Did not to shoot at me. Well, failures, you're fired. You're all being replaced. Uh, I don't see my true power. Calling on people that aren't garbage. I cannot. Whoops. Little warriors fill the room. Didn't see much conversation. Magic missile. <laughs> there, just for some variety. <laughs> we bought Stray again. Like, was there any reason for this fight to be this long? Like, I kind of got the idea long before this point. Because they can do progressively harder patterns. <laughs> also, it's time it for this really feel character long. to have an impression. If the impression is supposed to be annoying me, then it's doing a good job. <laughs> I mean, he is supposed to be pretty annoying. Oh, okay. Bandage. Final attack. Whoops, I messed that up. Oh boy. Did we get him? No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Oh. I've got knives. Please don't knife me. Don't shank me. I'm out of knives. You only had one? You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 <laughs> Dummy, I've come to bargain. What heck is this? Erg acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Who's a little slide little noise for? People just slide around in this game. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. I'm sorry for talking to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh wait, didn't you attack me before? Uh, that's awkward. Sorry, have a nice day. <laughs> well, I'm going to head home now. Just warning you. If you don't accidentally follow me to my house, you probably wouldn't like that. Okay. That felt like a big waste of time, but okay. It's oh, the hey, experience, you. Elena. An unpleasant experience. <laughs> Also, it's setting up parts of how the universe works. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, you followed me. My house is up here. You probably don't want to come this way. Hope that helps. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. <laughs> is that like peace and tranquility, like in uh, Hat and Time? Do you think I've ever played Hat and Time? Do you think I've ever looked at Hat and Time? Well, you've looked at it, you watched my stream of it. I watched it with my eyes closed. Don't touch oh. the duck! Little bird wants to carry you across. Or does it take you back to a place that you were at before? Oh. Whatever you That's do, don't talk to ducks! I mean, you're gonna need to talk to the duck at some point anyway for backtracking, but like... Temmie Village. Right now is not the best time. I would go to I'd go to the ghost house if I were you. I just wanted to look at what else was around here. Yeah, but the goat like everything else is like further away. We got some neat junk for sale. Well, I found this turtle man. God, he grows me out. <laughs> he has ten HP or eighteen HP. He looks like a crab. Et. Visible longer. Or notebook. I have a lot of money. That you need a lot of money. Buy the notebook. I'd keep saving it if I were you though, because like, if you're gonna use items, you might as well use them like later on in the game. I'll tell you when you get to the point where it's like oh. it's hardest. Tell you when the point when you get to the TARDIS, is that what you said? 
No, I said I'll tell you when you get to the <laughs> point where like, like what I'm saying is that, like uh, if you're gonna buy items, you might as well save up your money and get like the really good <laughs> healing items towards the end of the game. Oh. I do wish the walking speed of the character was a little faster. Yeah, everybody complained about that. The sequel has running. <laughs> this is a wobbly house. I'd oh, like hey, to see you build better. Follow me into my house. Make yourself at home? At home? <laughs> oh, are you hungry? Oh, are you having cake? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. Reminds me a bit of uh, Harry Potter, actually. Where, uh... Wait, really? The ghosts were having the death day party for one of the other ghosts. And uh, the oh, food yeah. they the food they had was like really like rotten and smelly that they could get like a vague taste out of it by flying through it. Oh. That's that's really gross. I don't <laughs> they like had it. to make the taste like extremely strong so that they could get even like the vaguest thing from it. Why are the ghosts in the Harry Potter universe? Because they're like magic. No, but does just everybody have a ghost in the Harry Potter universe? No, I think it was that, like, when you die, you choose to become a ghost or not, and most people apparently do not choose to do so. Huh, can like, you go back on like, it and be like, I want to die now? I don't think so. Yeah, you, me, I totally fucking agree. Napstablook is mega mood. I me I'd like to lie around the ground and feel like garbage. Family tradition. <laughs> do you want to join me? No, Jump thank some advice, you. Elena? Oh wait, but, no! Oh. It's so good! Well, we're late now. <laughs> Spooky old TV. Most of the buttons are worn away. The channel changing buttons look like as good as new. I didn't want to lay on the ground and feel like garbage. Peter's internet <sighs> browser is open to a music sharing forum. When in Rome, Elena, <laughs> lay on the ground and feel like garbage! <laughs> Peter's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. The spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. What? Cool the day music. <laughs> Wait, how did I play the CD? It's just there on the ground. What did I do to play it? It's it's in a tiny stereo. You spelled spook wave. But I carry around with me all the time apparently. No, it's it's just on the floor, so you're interacting with. I pretend. Looks like just a CD case. Actually, it looks like a book. I thought it looked like a book as well. Maybe you're like humming Book the tunes. music from Sheep. I hear some fart music. Oh, you've returned. That's like spook tune. They don't make songs like it this is... anymore. It does sound a bit like a fart. <laughs> It'd be funny if that just played for the rest of the game. The snail. I can't escape the snails. I don't wonder what it tastes like. Oh no. I do not wonder what it tastes like, thank you very much. I refused them earlier. For that very reason, that I do not wish to know what they taste like. So snaileth Sambule. I hate the design of that snail, they make me want to vomit. Look at this one, Blood. it's like a little man. I was counting dollar bills. Holla holla good dollar. Awkward. I'm working right now, I mean... Welcome to Bluk Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. The place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. And it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Oh. Do you want to play a game? 
It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. Oh. Wait, maybe the yellow snail is like the worst one or something. <laughs> snail racing just makes me think of Spongebob, of course. <laughs> Aww. That one Spongebob episode. You know, where Patrick had his, his snail was just actually just a rock, and yet it somehow yeah. won anyway. Do you remember people used to make all those memes about how the rock yeah, was the repeatedly Wii U, to encourage your snail. And then it turned out the Wii U <laughs> was not the rock. Yes. I don't know what button I'm supposed to press. I guess Zed. this button. Oh yeah, it's the same ones you used to talk. Why is my snail upside down? I told you it wouldn't win. It's on fire. You're pushing them too hard. <laughs> oh, it's just like the SpongeBob episode. Encourage <laughs> your snail too much. Not push to succeed. Really go to her. Oh. What if I only encourage it a little bit? Repeatedly. What if I don't do it repeatedly? You can go a little snail. You can do it. <laughs> well, I need this. Uh, the snail's not doing too well, is it? No. <laughs> Maybe if I don't encourage it at all, it wins. <laughs> oh, poor little yellow baby. <laughs> Poor little Undertale character you peed on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a throwback to the Sonic after the sequel stream. <laughs> that we just did. Yeah, like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a throwback, but kind of like a limp overhand throwback. It only goes like two feet. <laughs> I'm going to do it one more time and see what happens if I don't encourage it at all. Let's go! It just seems to slow down if you encourage it. Sometimes you need to let people do their thing. Don't encourage it at all. This is the clean... This is the control. Well, I accidentally did it once. <laughs> this is the exact same thing that just happened last time. I think it's rigged. You did say. You did say the yellow snail will probably just be the bad one. Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to fiddle around with it and see if there was some secret I could make happen or something. You both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Oh. Just a sad ghost. Oh. <laughs> A soast. That's an awful portmanteau. And as a result, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I really want to drink the glowing cyan water. It'll yeah, probably, probably fucking kill me, though. <laughs> I was just going to say, it'd probably give you diarrhea. I'd prefer to die. <laughs> Earth beaten and fearful for our lives, we are surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians seal this underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. That just went in one ear and out the other for me. <laughs> There's only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. It says, that even though there's a human reading it at the moment. A Bart Simpson they human. Seen this huh? They could have never seen that coming. <laughs> the squeaky mushrooms are the path. The squash room! <laughs> Oh, random encounter time. A special enemy, Temi, appears here to defeat you. Oh my god, it's Tim! 
found him! Okay, when you come out of this fight, can you do me a favor? Okay, you win. Walk, walk as far right as you can and then hold down. A secret. Wow, you really just... Oh my god, you gave Temi 69 damage. <laughs> Amazing. Walk Welcome down. Tem village. Keep walking down. Yep, there you go. Never mind, you there, don't worry I'm about Timmy. it. Timmy. This is my friend, Timmy. This is my brother, Daryl, and this is my other brother, Daryl. My friend, Timmy. Hello, I'm Larry, and this is my brother, Daryl, and this is my other brother, Daryl. <laughs> don't forget my friend. Why would somebody have two brothers called Daryl? <laughs> oh, Yumi's posted some Timmy emotes hey. in chat. Uh, I'm Bob. Alright then. I'm Bob. Wah 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 wah. Well, I bet you could do that noise. You feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> I love this fucking village. It's so good. It's so good. Check out good. Tim Shop. Why does this sound like Rugrats music? It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> Agrees. Should check Tim shop. Come to the Tim shop. Statue of Tim. Very famous. Very. What is this? Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? That's very uh, earthbound. It means that you've lived a life of sin. Excuse me. <laughs> Hard boiled. Watch egg. Egg will hatch. Makes me think of Cassie. <laughs> Tim heard human allergics to Tim. That's okay. These Tim understands. Really I'm also allergic to Tim. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, I've heard this song many times. The meme song. Your butt's <laughs> a meme song. I also saw I saw this before in uh, something else that I won't mention on the stream. Something else. Yes. Whatever could you <laughs> mean? What could you mean? I do you want to know a fun fact about Temi. What? This is like not. A secret. This is like well known, but Temi is based off of. Okay, so it's based. Isn't off it of the, the artist? Other... Yes, <laughs> but it specifically comes from. I think there was like a, a blog that was interviewing artists at one point, uh, and they interviewed Temi, but they didn't have a picture to go off for their little doodle. Mm -hmm. So they just drew like a weird cat with dog ears as well. <laughs> oh, why does the face move around like that? You got a Why real mobile face, face there. <laughs> also, I like I like how I like how there is Tem Flake Tem Flake on sale, and Tem Flake expensive. <laughs> and also, none of this is any good. It's only two HP. <laughs> and then college Tem pursue Wait. higher education. <laughs> Send Temmy to college. I don't have enough gold for that. Get enough gold and come back here and send Tem to college. Boy. Boy. Well, that, all, all, all I'll say is that the animation that I saw, that was the subject of it. Was the subject was boy or college? It was the college. Rich history of Tim. You know how, like, Temmy is the representation of Temmy Chang? Mm-hmm. Just a heads up, that one generic dog sprite you keep seeing is the representation of Toby Fox. Oh. I thought it was a rep I thought you were going to say it was a representation of his dog. <laughs> Come on, that'd be too easy. <laughs> like, sometimes when he goes to conventions, he likes to keep his, like, uh, identity pretty hush-hush. So he'll, mm -hmm. like, just hold a picture of the dog to his face so nobody can see him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. Turn into a, a sand 
worm. Your butt's turned into a sandworm. Oh my god, it's turned it into a sandworm. <laughs> Got it. Getting that gold. What's cool? What's cool about mold big as opposed to mold small? Is mold small's pellets come down and they explode into smaller pellets. Mm -hmm. Mold big's pellets start off smaller, conglomerate, and come back. Oh. It's the same attack in reverse. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't even notice. I didn't notice until literally this exact second! Why did I say... Why did I say Panotis? Is the better question. Banonis. I didn't Panotis. Banans, Banundertail. Attack increases for you too. Clean me. Oh, I probably have to do the thing first before I can get cleaned. Here, ask Washua to clean you. Helps around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh, oh. Washua is such a precious baby. I didn't get cleaned. You have to touch the green. I know. I was trying to. Oh no, the green is just flying away from you. It's hard because Aaron keeps flexing his big, fake muscles at you. <laughs> Clean. They should make a Washu a plush. They should make a best plush. <laughs> oh yeah, that's such a good idea. It could be like, it could be life-sized. And still be relatively cheap. <laughs> Make it, make it some of your stream merch. Be like, hey, this is the <laughs> one random fucker who annoyed you during Undertale. You can now buy a plush of them. No, I won't lose though, he says. I don't remember how to get away from this guy. You just keep flexing at him! Aaron is currently in a flexing Flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> Amazing. I'm the toddler! That's one of the things I like about the protagonist of this game, is just that they're a little snot baby. A little Bart Simpson. A little fart child. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now I say that, it sounds like Cass as well. <laughs> one second, I'm gonna message Cass and just say you're a fart child. <laughs> or fart baby. I'm telling that such is recorded on stream now forever. Behind you. <gasps> it's the villain. Ooh, the villain. That's a pretty mean seven. thing to call. Seven human souls. Oh. The power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgard Dreamer, will become a god. It came out weird because I was like half coughing when I said it. A god! Oh. <laughs> With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We finally take the surface back from humanity. Give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? It's the only chance of redemption. Give up your soul. Or I'll tear it from your body. Seems like a good opportunity to try and... Like... Reason it out. And I'll help you fight. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You got front row seats to her fight! <laughs> Wait, who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? No, oh, Monster Kid is so cute. Monster Kid uh, ate glue in class. That's a very mean thing to say, Elena. I can't believe you. And you thought that Super Mario 65 was going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't believe that Miyamoto just cranks one game out. <laughs> By this point, we're on Super Mario 786. <laughs> you hear a passing conversation. Hmm. I say my wish. You promise you won't laugh at me? No. We're passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. 
That's not what my response was. This uh, again reminds me of the Star Hill in uh, Super Mario RPG. I can see that. You, you should me? play that on stream. Oh, I've already played through it once before. You should play for it on stream now. Oh, I see. I really liked that game. I wasn't sure I would like it very much. Like I, th I thought it would feel like a real downgrade from the later Mario RPG games, but I actually thought it holds up really well on its own. Mm -hmm. That's surprising, because that game's like, like not even by Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> it's by it's by, it's by several of the same people who went on to do the other ones, though. Like the same musician. Wait, really? It, yeah. It's the same uh, music person, for one thing. That's fair. What's her name? I, I forget. Know. And I'm pretty is sure. It, oh, it's, is it this? Oh, is it the same person who does like the the, the boss themes in Mario and Luigi? There's all the music in Mario and Luigi. Oh shit! She also works on Kingdom Hearts, which ah. means that like <laughs> the final boss music of Mario and Luigi games always sounds like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I can't remember her name off the top of my head though. Unfortunately, I don't know if I, if she did uh, Paper Mario though. Even though, or Paper Mario, the original one, I believe, was I'm the same not. people, was the same people who did Mario RPG. That was because, like, or they wanted to. It was supposed to be Mario RPG too, but they couldn't get the rights to it from mm. whoever probably uh, Square Enix, because that was probably was... around the time when uh, Square Enix and Nintendo were having their feud, and uh, so they just made it Paper Mario instead. <laughs> Although it was always with the flat graphics. Hmm. It wasn't originally meant to be paper, though. <laughs> Which is interesting. <laughs> I don't know how they would have explained it otherwise. Well, I mean, it just, I'm going to be honest, right? Okay. Uh -huh. The only thing that makes Paper Mario on the N64 look like paper is the fact that you turn around, they flip. Uh-huh. Other than that, it just looks like a very... Other than that, it just looks like a very simplistic Nintendo 64-era game with sprites in a 3D environment. Yeah. <laughs> And then in the later games, they did more on the, the actual paper theme. Which I okay. was cool. Wait a second. Somebody in the chat is called the live Papyrus. <laughs> so, Papyrus from Undertale is alive and in chat, and they say, <laughs> I think I made the best veggie dipping sauce according to my friends and family. And I'm like, yeah, I probably believe you. Wait, what the fuck is a veggie dipping sauce? I don't know. Is it a dipping You'd sauce veg made of veggie? I think you dip veggies it? in it. Angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Don't forget, no farting on stream. Don't tell me what to fucking Yo. do. Yo! <laughs> I wonder what my thumbnail for this stream is going to be. You know, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... I could I could do a picture of the snail race and put Patrick with his rock on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Uh huh. Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. One cup mayo. One eighth cup sugar, three pinches of dill weed, two pinches of lemon pepper. Is dill weed an actual thing? I thought it was yeah. like an insult. <laughs> you dill weed. You put dill. You put dill weed in the dip. Your forehead. Hello, <laughs> I'm Dylan Weed. This is what happens when you're streamers. You get people showing up to give you recipes out of nowhere. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that, haha. -ha. What do you think that smells like? <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, I'm gonna go home now. Dillweed is a spice, girl. Uh, yo, wait, help, I tripped. I save. You, 
Yo, dude. Yo, dude. If you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. We've escaped. He's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. This being enemies is just a nice thought, haha. We'll just have to be friends instead. Aww, and I should really go skin. home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. He should have said it with an eight. Don't tell him how to live his life. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> Say, the life of Pyrus said, I used Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice for Monster Kid. <laughs> Yo, dude. <laughs> Give me the cookies, Jimmy. Jimmy, I need the cookies. I'm losing power, Jimmy. Wait, what? <laughs> Is, an actual Is that an actual quote? <laughs> Don't know. Is that an actual quote? Please, tell me it isn't. He was in a Christmas movie. I think, the, I think the line is, PUT THE COOKIE DOWN or something, not yeah. give Hold me on. the cookies, I'm losing power. That's, that was, that's, that's something else, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, so on Vine Sauce, he did this skit where he did the, the PUT THE COOKIE DOWN, but then he started, like, adding on to it, he's like, I'm losing power, I'm lo and he's like, start making it like a deeper voice, he's like, I'm losing power, Jamie, I need the cookies. Give me the cookies, I'm losing power. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Probably mostly just because I, my throat isn't the best at the moment. But <laughs> have I lost your sound? I seem to have lost you. Oh, oh, power parties. There we go. You there, Elena? Yes. Oh, that's good. Sorry for technical difficulties there for a moment. Oh, that's very uh, difficult. I seem. I think. Stuff. I think I sat back too far and it like pulled out my headphones, which then also pulled the computer, which jostled the power port. <laughs> oh no! You have your <laughs> power port. Hopefully by next week I'll have it fixed. As I have the part for it, I'm just sitting here waiting it out to see if my keyboard will also get here. <laughs> it's like put the cookie down. I need the cookie. Give the cookie to me, Jamie. I'm losing power. <laughs> Insert the cookie into my mouth hole, please. <laughs> Six. So are we ready to undine? Hold on, let me see. If I can find find a cookie. Oh, are we're getting low CPU again. Play on stream. Huh? It's amazing to me how this made-up thing has become what I associate with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <sighs> Powering down Arnold. Arnold powering down. Come on, I want faster CPU speed. I can stream. Are you aware I'm trying to do a stream computer? Oh, so, and also... <laughs> so incidentally, or coincidentally, you know what he was streaming when he came up with that Arnold Schwarzenegger thing? He was streaming Super Sonic Paper Mario. He was, he was streaming Super Paper Mario. That's fair, that's some more incidental. Incidental. Somewhat scrongcidental. Okay, I think CPU speed is sorted out now. No, it isn't. Gosh dang it. Sorry Ooh. about the delay here. I it's bumped, okay. I just barely bumped the computer. Sometimes compuber be sick. That's just how <laughs> life be. So to get this to work, so I have to set the computer on... I have like a flat topped step stool here. I have the computer on top of that. Then I have a game card case for DS games shoved on the side of it that's shoving the cord up 
But that wasn't enough. I also have to push it down, and I ha so I have a three-pound barbell on the side of the computer, pushing the side of the computer down, and between those two things, it is, is settled in the right spot. Which is why I, I have a replacement power port ready to put in <laughs> when I'm ready. <laughs> You've muted yourself, Bis. I know. Okay, I was just make it was for longer than usual, so I was making sure it was on purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna if I can find this clip in like the next couple minutes, I will play it for you. But uh. I uh, don't think I'm going to find it very quickly. Let's see. Find sauce. Arnold. Powering down. Jimmy, I'm losing power. <laughs> see. I don't... It really weirds me out how you, like, look for things to play on stream. I never do that. <laughs> Trying to be a real streamer. What do you mean, be a real fucking streamer? <laughs> I don't know. I know literally no streamers that do this, except for Vinny Vine Sauce and you. <laughs> literally the two people I've ever seen do this. Everybody else, never. Not once. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not finding it. Oh well. You'll have to take my word for it. You'll have to, you'll just have to enjoy my rendition of it. <laughs> so far, we, that's how many we have collected so far. Understand? Your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of Darth Sidious. <laughs> or Darth Plague, just the wise. That was what it was. It all started long ago. You there? There you I are. I hope so. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, you messaged me. Looked like I had a little hiccup there. Hopefully I didn't make two videos of this stream. Hopefully not. I'll just have to get out that... I'll just have to buy that splicing tool, finally. I think it's only like $12. I should tell you the story when you're about to die. Ah! Oh, Here we goddamn go. This fight has such good music. For I truly am fish. Seeing the ways everybody's hopes and dreams. Alpha's history books made me think humans were compassionate. But you? You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense, please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. You think it was fun when I found out? Doggo, who always made me laugh, was dead because of the whims of a single human? Because I couldn't figure out how to do it the other way. <laughs> no, but your time's up, villain. Don't turn to anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared. And all the pain you inflicted on the fallen, every hope, every dream you've turned to dust, he's gonna send right back through her spear. Ah! Luckily, I do seem to have remembered what was going on well enough. <laughs> I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. Oh, thank you for the save point. <laughs> I'll consider it. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Alright. Are we still connected? Yeah, we're still connected. Okay. I just wasn't sure because you didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm just letting you appreciate the story. Oh, gotcha. I know you won't, but I'm giving you a <laughs> chance to. That's it, then. Keep your secrets. There's no magic circle of you. You are magic circle-less. <laughs> what do you mean? What does that mean? The magic circle is where you forget that something isn't real and you become oh. immersed in it. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> that's why... I, I think I mentioned before, that's why I'm so good with horror games is that... Uh, like, I never forget that it isn't real. Hmm. I'm the opposite. I'm like the opposite. I'm super magic circle which I guess <laughs> means that our dynamic is that I'm the magic circle and that you're the unmagic square. 
I've been made green. I think something like this, or like I managed to do, the only thing I've managed to do that with is VR stuff. Then I can forget that it isn't real. With something like this, it's just like a pixel art game, that would never happen. What can I say? You don't have any imagination. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have imagination, then how would I manage to create things like I do? <laughs> I think it's different kinds of imagination. Like, I think, like, design imagination and, like, immerse imagination are different. <laughs> Act. Lead. You didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. In your green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Interesting. Bounces impatiently. Challenge. Until undiner attacks are too easy. Bullets get faster. Not bad, then how about this? So if I impress her, maybe that. There's a finger across her neck. <laughs> you did kill several of her friends. I don't think impressing us could do shit! Here's a dream of a happy ending. I didn't know those were your friends. I mean, everybody's somebody's friend, Elena! I didn't know they were this person's friends. <laughs> just want to be friends, she remembers you remember someone. Your text became a little less extreme. I, I'd love that, I'd love that. Just uh, the protagonist, little pickle, being like, I wouldn't have killed them if I knew it had been just disadvantageous to piss you off on dying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't have killed them if I'd figured out how to do the fight a different way. <laughs> I mean, you'd figure it out if you weren't lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you snatch it away from me? Using the D-pad is good for this. Usually using the, uh... Mm -hmm. The... Analog stick is better. But sometimes... <laughs> sometimes it... Sometimes she listens to me. Sometimes she doesn't. Oh. I forgot a screw hard analog control. I've never used a controller yeah. with this. Menacing smile. Not to be friends, you remember someone. Yeah, that's how I get such smooth control out of this. I mean, it is out on several consoles. Hmm, it's true. If you could beat me. Feels like it would be advantageous to my cause to not attack this character. Probably. I think it'd be kind of awkward if you were just punching somebody and be like, Please don't get hit! Don't, please don't <laughs> hurt me! BAM! Please don't hurt me! I don't want you to kill me! This man as far as like... Doesn't think that humans are compassionate or whatever. Well, I mean, <laughs> are they? <laughs> Gonna be like, see, I can be a good human. Oh, 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 oh! I can be a Bart. You can be a Bart. <laughs> I don't know why you're so obsessed with with Barting Pickle. <laughs> Whoa. Oh yeah, this attack's good. I love the slow one. It's, it's kind of <laughs> always funny. Please. It's weird to say that bullets are funny. But that's a really funny bullet. The slow arrow. Not being so resilient. Oh! Don't surprise me by turning me red again. It's made out of. I made out of Jello, Jello brand gelatin. What was it? And I think of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I think I've hit my limit. Hit your limit? What sort of limit? Like, like nothing's limit happening anymore. I mean, I like limit of the act. I can give you a tip if you want. But do you remember how it said when you're green you can't escape? Uh-huh. 
What does that mean by process of elimination? When you're red, you can? That, I thought that just meant you could move around. You should read between the lines. Oh. I'm not very good at that, you see. <laughs> That's fair. You kind of have to be more in the magic circle to do that. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be wa you gotta watch out for the yellow bullets. Well, I got those just fine. It's just the other regular ones are too much. <laughs> that never gives up. Well, that's not that's good the thing. for me. She never gives up, ever. Smells like sushi. I'm gonna get defeated, I think. Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. <laughs> Suplex! <laughs> Undyne is so fucking cool. I know. Also, judging from the opinions of most everybody I know, also hot. <laughs> everybody wants to kiss Undyne. Too f IRL. Too much fish for me. Wow, I can't believe you're so vanilla. I don't like seafood. That's... <laughs> it's such a mean thing to fucking say to somebody. I'm sorry, fish person, I'm not gonna date you, because I don't eat the animals that live <laughs> in your environment. Won't turn me red again. That's like not dating a human because you don't like beef. Went warrant. Say that again? It went warrant. That's fair. They determined. Ooh! First yep. game over. You did pretty well. <laughs> you lasted quite a while. Excuse me. Forgot to mute myself. Bless you. Oh, I see. She turns you red if you challenge, I think. Turn me red. I don't know I how it happened earlier. I can turn you red. Mm. This stuff that sounded cooler. Than <laughs> <in the mind>. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, sweet. I hate this. You hate this? Yes. Why do you hate this? Because now I'm back in the battle again. Well, you should have ran faster. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was a cutscene. <laughs> you thought it was a cutscene? Oh, that's cute. You're cute. I'm so confused. Got this, honey. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about so. it. You're gonna get this. I believe there we in go. you. Number fifteen. This is belief in Elena. The last thing you'd want in your base is belief in Elena, but that's what you're gonna fucking get. Cause I okay, believe I in Elena. Oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Run! Be free! 
What? No, 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 wait, no! What? The other way! I didn't know there was another way. The, 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 the big door! The big, what black big door? cave door! I thought, that was, I thought that was just up the mountain, and I thought it was a dead end, because... No, it's, it's up a doorway. there on top of the mountain. You but you gotta run through there and up there because you're trying to get past Undyne. Remember, you're trying to go from A to B. That's what this entire adventure is. Is an A to B adventure. I thought that was just leading up the hill that she was on top of. <laughs> Bless you. I muted myself that time. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You've escaped from me for the last time. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Not like only last words, it's words spoken directly before an escape. I'm gonna have to stream announcement again. Alright. Let's fucking do this. Let's skronk. Undyne. <laughs> and by skronk undyne, I mean run away. Skronking and running away are somewhat different. <laughs> Just a heads up, sorry if the things I'm saying are weird. I like fell asleep for four hours by accident. <laughs> Not any weirder than usual. Wow, I can't believe you said that about me. That's quite the sassy thing to come out of your mouth hole. <laughs> Otherwise known as a mole. It's a fist in front of her and shakes her head. How long I've been streaming an hour. I'll go for like another half hour maybe. Be good. Please make me red again. <laughs> I don't want to be green. It's not easy being green. Please, ma'am. I want to be red again. Although green is appropriate for pickle. <laughs> yes. Not Wait, easy red being green. The thing? Let me Google this. Red pickle. Red wigglers. The Cadillac of worms. Never say that again or I'll kill you. Anyway, uh, yeah, there oh, are red pickles, in fact. They're disgusting. I don't like them. <laughs> God, when you Google search it, you get some awful clip art that makes me want to vomit. I hate this. I hate this. You got this, honey. I believe oh, in you. Oh, there, finally. Got better to do. Please don't. Oh, Yeah, this attack's really hard. If you end up in another fight, just immediately scoff a healing item. Just ram it down your throat. I did. Let's say she flips her hair or something. I think it flips her spear. Oh look, it's oh look, it's the it's the earthbound thing. What's the earthbound thing? I don't know what you mean by the earthbound thing. On the wall. Hey, what's up? I was oh, just thinking. Oh yeah, that, that was an Undertale. I mean, on earthbound. I, mean, <laughs> I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. Uh, well, some things might have to change before we get to that point, Papyrus. Stands why are you sleeping on the job. What do you mean, why is he sleeping on the job? He's Sans Undertailed. That's what he, he does. He should be eating burgers on the job. You can't eat burgers so all hot. day. And if you get but a full can't tummy, up. you get tired. You get sleepy. Are we going to offer her, like, some water? The water cooler. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Got a unique little animation for, or unique little sprite for carrying the cup of water around. It is really cute. 
Why don't you just pour it on her face? She's a fish. She's like dried up, not rather than thirsty. <laughs> You're thirsty. <laughs> Why are you calling me out <laughs> like this? You're so mean. She's gonna leave. Do you ever get a cup of water poured on your face and you just kind of vibrate, stand up, face the four cardinal directions, and walk away? Was she like embarrassed or something? Oh, okay, <gasps> oh okay, my okay, god! Okay, okay. Elena! I so came over from a waterfall to get a drink. What? Somebody called HK, I think. HK? <laughs> HK says your game category isn't set as undertailed. But it is. Apparently it isn't. Oh, it's pronounced HK. Oh, I should have seen that. HK. <laughs> so it's like a H pronounced in my I, On H my end here, it said Undertale is the category this whole time. Oh, that's pretty weird. It doesn't say anything on my end, but I haven't, like... I haven't opened the window since when we were streaming Sonic. Very strange. After the sequel. Well, I'll put out our announcement one more time. One more. Are you up for a bit of like Smash Brothers after the stream, by the way? Oh, you gotta click Probably. update information, apparently. Well, I did. <laughs> like, I had the title in there and everything. Thirsty, so I came from Waterfall to get a drink. Let's have a look. HK says, I found you through Commander Roof's website. You were listed as stream set, not playing. Mm. It's funky. Who the hell is Commander Roots? It's not working. I don't know. Let me look that up. What if I prayed from the heat? Cup evaporated too. What? Well, I guess that's one way to explain things away. Selfless determination. As usual. Like, I notice how it's like... How high the amount of time is. Like 286 minutes, I think, or something like that. That's just on accident, or, well maybe not. No, the accident was that uh, last time I played this, it got stuck on in the background for like hours and hours and hours until I noticed it. So on Steam it's logged that I've played this game for like nine hours. <laughs> oh, okay, number one, uh, Commander Roots is some sort of data bot. Okay. Twitch data bot. Also Commander on this, Man. yeah, it's... On this, it doesn't have until the meant to move her woman, it doesn't really matter. Love to ride in my boat. Here to join me? This is probably like the duck. I won't. Oh yeah, this is just like a fast travel thing, but later in the game... I don't know why I felt the like game saying, later. <laughs> I'm on TV. You will be in a second. <laughs> it's too dark to see near the walls. Too dark to see near the walls. It's too dark to see near your butt. <laughs> wow, that's that was some too great a comedy. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, too dark to see in your butt. Oh, uh -huh. there's a face. You can't go up a down escalator. <laughs> you can if you try hard enough. Oh, I okay. thought, Have I a thought... nice day, HK. <laughs> I thought this character was uh, filled with determination. That he'd be determined enough to walk up the down escalator. Let's pick your shops soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and. Um, this also looks like a Simpsons character. <laughs> looks like... <laughs> ah, yeah. Dr. Alphys, Asgore's royal scientist. But I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Why are you blushing? It makes it creepy. Your frights, your friendships, everything. 
I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Esgor's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. With that look on your face, I think you mean something else. <laughs> anyway, recently like I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Alain, I'm just gonna give you a heads up, right? What? I would fuck Matt. Huh? <laughs> like, um, anti- anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? Look <laughs> at that face. Eh. But, um, hopefully he won't run into- you won't run into him. Or we won't run into him. It took me three times to read that word correctly. Did you hear something? We sure- it sure is good that we're not gonna run into him, ever. <laughs> we're not gonna appear. Doesn't ever show up in the game. Oh no. Chekhov's oh no. unfired gun. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> Now I have to voice this character like Wario. Welcome, oh, no. beauties! Elena, you're killing my Undertale bone. My uh, meta Today's bone, quiz please. show. Please don't! Oh boy. <laughs> I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. I can't do this voice anymore because of my throat, but I tried. Oh, <laughs> that hurts. Everyone! <laughs> Give a big, wonderful hand f for our wonderful contestant! Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. You answer incorrectly once, you die. Uh, Undertale not responding. Oh, there we go. Metaton attacks. So this That's is... weird. Why, why are you like that about this? Really, this thing? This square? <laughs> wow! Fucking shallow, Elena. <laughs> Personality, Cry. come on. Alright, let's attack the killing machine. Also, one time, what did you one. say I was- What did you accuse me of being willing to fuck? What was it? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, was it the clouds from Super Mario Brothers? Was it cast form? No, it I was- I swear to God, there was something. Oh, it was PD Piranha. Oh, uh, yeah, why? <laughs> you so okay, you can see me fucking PT Piranha, but you can't see me fucking Metaton. A box. A metal box with a wheel on it. And a nice person now, and a nice voice. <laughs> Messed that up. And also, and also a fun shtick. What's the king's full name? I'd, I'd fuck you that if one. you turned into a sword. <laughs> so. <laughs> and you'd get all cut up. <laughs> it's the price I'd pay for love, Elena. <laughs> What's the Let's talk about me. Name? What are robots made of? Well, it's gonna be metal and magic. I didn't know there was magic involved, but... These are monster robots. You're a monster robot. Wow, I can't believe you're one for you. Me. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart station A and station B. Station A and station B are 2.2 2 miles apart from each other. Train A is moving in 1.4... I can't read it all. <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't... No! I couldn't do it. Should've just guessed. Would've been better than nothing. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are Elena. in this jar? I- Elena, excuse me? Do you want me to show you a cheat? What? Alphys is giving you the answers. Oh. I didn't even- I didn't even register for me anymore that she was even there. 
You have the most weird tunnel vision. I was trying to read the question and then look at the answers. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? It's a frogget. Oh. <laughs> well, she was just giving me like a weird hand gesture. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, which is which corresponds to a letter. Oh, I didn't even realize the answers were letters. I thought it... <laughs> until you mentioned it, I was like, oh yeah, those were letters, weren't they? Oh, uh, you are a you very this one? unusual woman. Oh, would you smooch you, a ghost? But my God. Oh, all the answers are the same. Great answer, I love it. <laughs> I'm strange, but you love it. Simple one. How many letters in the name Medita? <laughs> this is interesting. Cannot attack. Time to break out the big guns. Okay, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, I know this one, it's snail ice cream. The first chapter... I was just full of snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. And it's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. <laughs> you aren't helping our contestant, are you? What if instead of Alphys, it was just Alf? Well, and Alf was in this game. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll ask a question. Be sure to know the answer to. Does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Uh, I, I don't know. Correct. Um, the unknowable. What? We're not there. Someone watching her. She thinks it's cute and interesting. Also, theoretical person. Hello, theoretical person. Dr. Alphys likes you. Bet you are not real. The rest of the left track. <laughs> Hey, I've done research about this. There are alternate universes out there. Someday, maybe, I could meet them. They said the exact same thing about Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. They'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Person, if you're out there, how about giving us a sign right now? Uh, that's all this settles it, doesn't it? Well, well, well. Dr. Alfie's helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. Can't go on like this, but, but, this is just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Till next time, darlings. Well, certainly something. That's what I was about to say. Half empty bag of dog food. Wait, wait. I just want to look in your fridge like a weirdo. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could. Well, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. I got it from. I don't remember. I think I just had it. You got it from Toriel. Did I? Not I couldn't remember. Way, dude. My you first, take her gifts, my first thought, you kill her, and then you forget that she even gave you them. My first thought was that Papyrus gave it to me. <sighs> and then I realized, no, I think I had the phone before that. Maybe I just started with it. <laughs> You're texting items, it's got a keychain. Even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. I'm officially friends. <laughs> There's a lot of dots. I'm going to the bathroom. I hate you. Did you have to do, you have to do gross? <laughs> yes. It just feels like noodles I'm and soda. You. Like that boulder earlier. It's a computer. A sex income has a puzzle in Snowden. Interesting. Eat a figurine of a female human with cat ears. Seems like notes to something, but it's all written in oh. chicken scratch. Seems Hello, like a walkthrough to a game, or... 
Hey Arrow, how are you doing? Got about 10 minutes left of the stream. Bathroom sign. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. I didn't know there was pooping in Undertale. Wait, wasn't there a thing about- wasn't there a thing about that the monsters don't use the bathroom? Yeah, well, Why it should be in there for other reasons. <laughs> okay. Oh my fucking god, Arrow made some teriyaki chicken. <laughs> I want her to give me the teriyaki chicken so I can put it in my mouth and consume it. Oh, is this, is this the comic that you made, Biss? It's a comic <laughs> of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. That sounds like something I'd make. This doesn't su strike you as very accurate. Fuck you, it's accurate. <laughs> Scientific books, they seem very dusty. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons, they are all labeled Human History. All these books are labeled Human History, read one. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Arrow ate all the fucking teriyaki chicken, and now I'm gonna go to her house and kill her. <laughs> you didn't oh, no. save me any fucking of the terrican. I can't believe you. So I'm not. Me. So I'm not the only one you threaten. Oh, I threaten everybody. I'm a <laughs> hey, look, it's coming. Except I don't threaten. Except yeah. I don't threaten to turn anybody else into swords. That's only. For a you, hideous man. android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. When is this, the Tubby Custard from Teletubby? Are you the Tubby Custard from Teletubby? Teletubbies, I mean. What's this oh little God. drawing on okay. the wall here? Okay, so I was talking to a friend recently, right? Uh-huh. Uh, Didn't you say you were, like, afraid of Teletubbies now? Yeah, because she just- I was like- it was the night when my power to all the lights in my house went, so I sat in the dark. <laughs> And she just outlines this hypothetical scenario where my entire family gets stabbed and murdered by Tinky Winky. <laughs> oh no. And then like, is like, what would you do? You're in bed and you see Tinky Winky there in your doorframe. And I'm like, I pretend to be yeah, I'm, I'm Tinky Winky. <laughs> don't, don't, don't want the way don't. don't, don't yeah. I can't handle Tinkle Winkle. Oh my god! Incredible invention. And this is best was an extremely easy to draw box. Uh, have you ever heard about oh, the I Tinky get it. Winky gay thing? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Teletubbies was... Teletubbies... ...was because they thought it pushed the game. Because Tinky Winky um, has a handbag and oh, is no. blue. But also is like a baby. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, uh, the Teletubbies, I think, are all kind of non-binary. Just... I'm pretty sure, and I think they're all supposed to be very young as well, like... I think Tinky Winky's supposed to be, like, five, and then four, and then three, and then two for the other ones. Or maybe Arrow the says... oldest one is four, or something like that. Two things. Number one, Arrow says, like, I threaten all my friends. And that isn't true. I don't threaten birds. No. That's the one exception. <laughs> one person I never threaten. Uh, number two, uh, I think, what was it, I think in qu when the BBC was asked whether Tinky Winky was gay, they said, Tinky Winky is simply a technological baby. Technological baby. I remember, <laughs> I remember like there's a video, it was published on, or there's this channel that is mostly, like, dedicated to, like, what's the name, uh, or whoever it is who does Cthulhu, or who did Cthulhu. Uh, H.R. Geichcraft. H.R. Yeah, or Minecraft. Or like, Eldritch things, or things like that. Just those Human kind of things. Human resources Minecraft. It was just those, those kind of things. And, uh... Uh, it was a video that they did on, uh, April Fools that was, like, finding all of the, uh, ref- the Cthulian, or whatever, references in Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's something not right about those tubbies and the Kellys. <laughs> there's like this thing is a reference to like this elder god that watches over the such and such. It's like <laughs> Arrow comes in with the real shit, saying HP racist shit. 
Yeah, I hear that HP Lovecraft is a racist sack of worthless trash straight from a bleeding ass. <laughs> Oh yes, it was the Cthulhu Mythos and Teletubbies. See here. Mythos in Teletubbies. <laughs> yeah. The Cthulhu Mythos. In uh, right now. <laughs> yet harmless program aimed at entertaining... I'm just trying to find like something funny. Outside of their home is a large windmill we go. known as the Magic Windmill. Generally, this is seen spinning in concordance with the beginning of the TV <laughs> receiver sequences. But it will also oh, begin apparently, spinning at apparently HP other times. Lovecraft's Herald, cat was named event. a racist slur. Oh no. When it does, a sound That's emits not good. across the region. <laughs> and the Teletubbies utter in unison, Uh-oh. <laughs> before rushing over to a location. <laughs> Are you okay, We're Elena? You appear to be pissing yourself with laughter. Ranging I'm playing a miniature uh, part of the video. To the rapid flow oh, yeah, of the I entire section it, of the I? land, followed by the summoning of multiple large ships. <laughs> the it makes it seem so dramatic. These events with awe <laughs> and glee. Arrow in chat Whether just says. Whether they are hallucinogenic uh, in nature, oh. or caused by chemicals <laughs> released by the windmill, or are actually magical, is debatable. <laughs> I'm trying to get they a, are indeed magical, funny. as alluded to by the name of the windmill, and that would make the windmill the only master of sorcery in the land, <laughs> much like Yog Sothoth, the opener of the way. There you go. <laughs> oh goodness! Much that would make the windmill the old, the master of sorcery and the, the only master of sorcery in the land, much like Yog Sothoth. <laughs> Was, Hot take, quite the human. Uh, what? The, the, H the HP Lovecraft universe, every time I hear about it, is the most boring fucking shit. Because, <laughs> like, you could, I, I could just make up a HP Lovecraft character off the top of my head right now. <laughs> it's uh, Bog yeah. Mogronoth. The Why Elder God of flushing the toilet. <laughs> I was gonna go for Skronk, my dick. <laughs> every, <laughs> time, Skronk. every time you flush the toilet, you're actually strengthening the Elder God. Oh fucking hell! Are <laughs> but yeah, the the greatest achievement H.P. Lovecraft ever made was just setting the scene for SCP to exist. <laughs> I can see that. So I'm gonna end the stream. I think when, next time I get to a save point, Vulcan. Oh okay. Like Spock. What? There's other Vulcan is a word that just means things. Like there's the Vulcan <laughs> cannon. <laughs> gonna call them in a minute. Hey Elvis, you're interrupting my game. There we go, there's a save point. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs, it fills you with determination. Interesting lava effects. You're an interesting All lava right. effect. Whoops. Well, that does it for our Undertale stream this time, I think. I had a lot of fun, Thank just like my other times. We had some funny conversations. <laughs> and I was reminded of the Teletubbies Cthulhu mythos thing. <laughs> That's a Homestuck line if there ever was one, says Arrow, in reference to something I don't know because I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> oh, 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 I think she's I think she might be talking about the fact that this area is based off of something from Homestuck. Oh. There's like an entire planet in Homestuck that's just lava and cogs and machinery. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to stream again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be Slime Rancher, I think. Would be a good game Ooh, for tomorrow. Ooh, will be Slime Rancher. Yes. I think I might do another extended Slime Rancher stream and see if I can get some more progress done in that. Because last time all the progress I made was just reorganizing the ranch. To work better with my little bee drones. <laughs> oh, your little bones. <laughs> So yeah, I think tomorrow will be just Slime Rancher, and then Tuesday will probably be uh, Team Sonic, Sonic Racing. Sonic the sequel. Yeah, we'll do Team Sonic Racing, and we'll do that one. Uh, we can do Under uh, we can do Undertale at any time, any day that you want to stream it. This is just fine. I'll see if I'm I'm seeing if I'm available tomorrow. It'd be good to okay. crank some Undertale out because it's an RPG, so it's quite long. Yeah. So, although yeah, I've like heard a real it's a hour thing. <laughs> I've heard it's fairly short for an RPG. 
Oh no, it's like, if you do everything, it's like 500 hours. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing everything, then. A thousand hours. <laughs> it's the longest game ever made. <laughs> oh no, it can't be worse than uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, where it took me like 20 hours to actually figure out how to play the game, and then it and then... <laughs> Like, by, uh, by the time I was about 30 hours in, I felt like I had a good handle on how the gameplay worked. Oh, and then, God, that's what? And then there was still, like, another, like, 60 hours of game left, even before you just beat it. Triple A JRPGs are bad, and they need to be shorter, <laughs> and they need to be less just fucking bullshit. Who has fucking 60 hours? <laughs> well, plus 30 to just figure out how to play it. At least in my Who case, so it was. Hours? I'm pretty sure by the time I beat it, I was over a hundred hours at the game. Oh, that's... <laughs> Everybody moans about, like, oh, this game, this platform is only five hours. You know what? Five hours is a good amount of time. Like, if there was a movie that was five hours, nobody'd fucking watch it. <laughs> yeah. if, if there was a movie that was 90 hours long, somebody would literally stab you if you asked to watch them to watch it with you. Xenoblade was so long just because there's, like, a million side quests. Like, I think somebody told me there was, like, 12 main missions in the game, and then there was, like, f more than, like, 400 side missions or something like that. So basically you have 12 good things and 400 pieces of absolute fucking <laughs> worthless shit. And also a lot of those side missions, a lot of those side missions you can miss, too. I mean, I, I would imagine you can miss them, there's 400 of them! Like, if you don't do them in a certain amount of time, then they disappear and you can't do them anymore. Arrow doesn't know how far she got in Xenoblade, but <laughs> she knows it took fucking forever. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get back to playing P Bravely Default, which is an RPG I'm playing mostly because the characters are cute little chibis. <laughs> that one was. A flying fairy. That one was weird for me because, uh, like, it made me nauseous to look at it for some reason. I don't That's know why. That's very weird. Yeah, even with without the 3D on, something about oh the visuals my. made me nauseous. And games I like don't usually do that. Nowadays. <laughs> anyway, I'll get going and I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you on stream tomorrow. As for you, Biss, uh, where we got stuff we're gonna do together, so. <laughs> yeah, do you wanna do some Smash after this? Smash yes. Bro? Oh, yeah! Alright, everyone, thanks for watching. It was a good stream today, and hopefully we'll have a good one tomorrow. See you then. Oh, you oh, can say bye too, Biss. Just before we go, Arrow has said something very important in chat, which what I agree that? with. Wild Arms 3, best JRPG. She didn't say <laughs> the clamps, I added those. I'm ad-libbing here. I shouldn't do that. Alright. Wild Arms 3. <laughs> See y'all next time. See y'all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>